to my channel. Today I'm gonna be doing the phone tag or what's on my iPhone or how I edit my Instagram pictures. So yeah, I think this video can be interesting because you know Instagram is my favorite app and I'm obsessed with photography and this kind of things. And I forgot to say that my phone has an O life. Sorry. So as I was telling you, I think it's interesting to do this video because Instagram is my favorite app and I love photography and yeah, let's start it. So I have an iPhone 5C in white with this case which says there's always money in the banana stand. I don't know, I find it quite fun and I like it. And then, as I don't have Touch ID, I added a stick, which is a cupcake, just to add a bit of personality to my phone. So, to unlock, a, I have a passcode, which I'm not gonna say. And then, I, you can find home screen, where I have the uh, normal uh, apps which came with my phone. So, uh, then I have phone, mail, safari and music. I use mail and I have so many not notifications, but I'm a mess with mail. So, the second home screen is my favorite one because I have my favorite apps. So, and my most useful apps, of course. So, the first one is FaceTime. Then I have calculator, podcast, all of this came with the iPhone. Game Center, Extras, Watch, Watch is for Apple Watch, I think. Find friends, find iPhone, and now start my favorite apps, which is WhatsApp. WhatsApp is very useful. I try hard not to use it, but everybody's using it, and if you don't have WhatsApp, you're lost. ¿Qué pasa? Estoy grabando. So, if you don't have WhatsApp, you're lost because it is so useful and everybody is using WhatsApp at this moment. Then I have Instagram, but I'm gonna let this up to the end of the video. Then I have this folder of photography, which I'm gonna explain after with Instagram. So then I have Snapchat, which is pretty useful, and now I'm gonna do a Snapchat. Yeah, I'm gonna plan it. My Snapchat is Lithia FC Four. Just I plan every day so just if you are interesting or if you are bored and you want to know about me you can add me on snapchat then i have youtube and i found it pretty useful because i love music as you know and as i as i don't have spotify or this kind of things because i don't have enough internet and i play the playlist youtube playlists are amazing because I discover new music every day and I love it. This is one of my favorite apps also. And then I have Twitter. Twitter, I I used to use it two years ago a lot, a lot every day, every hour, every moment, every second. But right now, I don't know, I just share my Instagram pictures on my Twitter too and I just look at Twitter when I'm bored but it has to be on my iPhone if it's not on my iPhone my iPhone looks empty you know it's it's like if you don't have your phone you feel empty so if I don't have Twitter on my phone my phone feels empty I understand it I know what I mean oh. my Twitter is um, at lufiafc42 and then I have voice memos uh, this app was in the extras folder, but um, for me it is pretty useful because as you know I write songs and sometimes I'm with my guitar and I, oh my god, this is this can be a great song. So I just open voice memos, I record my demo and yeah, I have this, so for example, and then I also use this app to study because for example in the shower I can get in with books so I just record my voice uh, reading and then I listen to it so for example this 
los primeros pictógrafos de la escritura. Study. Then I have Wordpad and this app maybe it's not that it's not so famous. But if you don't have it, I recommend it to you if you love reading. Wordpad is an app, you can also use it in your computer, where uh, people can write their own stories and you can read them for free. And I don't know how I discovered it, but I, I started to read a a romance called Rebeldía in Spanish and oh my god it is so catchy uh, right now it's the second season of the book and it's amazing and I could say that I just have this app for Rebeldía it is so useful really and I recommend you Rebeldía and then I have Charades which is a game that I love I, I have a video prepared uh, with this game, so it just basically is like I'm gonna show you. We play. So I choose a theme. I'm gonna choose movies and play on forehead, you know. And it appears a word appears here or like a movie, and someone has to define me this movie with other words. And if I'm right, I have to do this, and if I'm wrong, I have to pass. It's pretty fun to play with this, really. So now I'm gonna go with my Instagram. My Instagram, as you know, is, is Lucia Ferrero. And basically, um, I just share my passion for photography. And my passion for photography, it's every day more and more and more. Yo estoy grabando, pero me has enfocado. Enfócame otra vez, por favor. You know, más parado. Te estoy grabando. Ah, oh, vale. Se pone rec, seguro. But as you know, my passion for photography. I have my Instagram with a feed. There are white themes, there are black and white themes, there are colorful themes, and I try to have a colorful feed, a white one, a black and white. But I can't. I don't know how to put together my photos and they look nice. I don't know. But right now I'm trying to put my Instagram pictures just a bit more bluish and a bit colorful as you can see. And I love black and white pictures. I love them. But as you can see my feed it is pretty colorful but especially blue. And I just, I always try to upload pictures with my camera. I don't like to upload photos taken with my phone. Uh, despite it has a good quality, I don't know, I like the focus on the, on the camera and these kind of things. But for example, this photo was taken with my phone. And it looks nice, and then this one too. But mostly I upload photos taken with my camera. So, how I edit my Instagram pictures? Let's go to the photography folder, okay? I have VSCO Camp, which I call it Vasco Camp. I don't know, Vasco. It, it is great because uh, you can uh, put the photos together as if it was Instagram so you can see if they look nice or not. So I'm gonna show you how I edit any photo. So I'm gonna choose this for example which I took to my sister today. I don't have a favorite filter but I can tell you the most that I use. So um, I like A5 I also like, when I use um, black and white, I use B5 and I just turn it down a bit. Then I also like to use C1, but in this picture it looks so green, so I don't like it. Uh, and then I bought the C1 and the E's and the Q's. So uh, the C1, I love C1, C4, C and C6, especially C6. 
and then uh, the I bought E. He wants E filters, but they are not my favorite. I don't know why I bought. I also like G3 for some pictures because it looks dark, and I know I don't know. Then I like also HB1 and HB2, and HB2 it's one of my favorites. And uh, I don't know. Then I then it comes B5. B5 is used by most of Instagrammers and when I put P5 on my photos they look weird the skin tone changes completely and I don't know, I don't like it then I love Q's but they are so hard so I, use, I usually turn them down yeah, for example Q, Q, Q1, Q2 and Q4 and Q5 they look nice. I love it. And then I love SE3. This is a bit more black and white. Yeah, I love it. So then I just play a bit with uh, exposure. I don't know. I like um, dark pictures. and So I usually turn down the exposure. But when I take photos with my camera, I just try to take them darker so but when i have to edit the pictures i don't have to turn the exposure down then i always um turn up the contrast because i like contrast in pictures so we have to be careful with contrast because um if you turn up of the contrast the picture can look so fake and so edited and I like dark pictures but so natural and then I just I usually turn down the saturation because I like dark pictures not that saturated but if they have some blues uh, some blue colors or some red colors or some orange colors I then I use um, saturation and I turn up but I usually turn it down and then I always 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 edit the temperature and I turn it down because I like that bluish then I always 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 add some grey on my pictures but 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 with Vasco I have a problem because uh, when I'm editing them it you can see the grain but when I save the picture on gallery there's no grain and I don't know what happens this but I always add grain on my pictures because I don't know I like this filter I don't know I, I like the texture that it, it has and basically this is how I edit my Instagram pictures with Vasco then I have Pixar, which I just use when I have to do some colleges, you know, the, the colleges that I upload on my Instagram. So I take four selfies and I put it together with colleges on Pixar. I also edit colleges with Pascal Cam. Then I have Followers Plus, which is not an, a photography app. It is just for Instagram to see. And your statistics on Instagram, how many followers you gained and how many followers you lost and who you lost so it is interesting to know. Then I have Afterlight which is also a photography app and I bought it, it is not for free, that's cool it's for free but if you want you can buy some filters but Afterlight I think it's around a euro and I bought it because I saw that so many YouTubers use it but I don't really use it too much. Uh, I just use it to add some grain on my pictures when I in Vasco it doesn't appear. So I use Afterlight, and I also love about uh, Afterlight. For example, I can take this picture in black and white and uh, the texture. So I'm gonna go to this uh, dusty, and uh, I don't know. I like textures because it's like grain, but it's not, and you can. Um, fix it, I don't know, for my pictures. Then I have Tiner Scanner, which is not a photography, I don't know, it's kind of photography. I just use it to when I have a document or a book and I have to, to 
to read something and I can bring my and I can bring home books so I just take some pictures and uh, it turns to pity if and it is so useful then I have camcorder which is not a photography app it's a video app and I can record myself and it looks like an old video hey hey no I'm ve. just proving it is so si no cool se ve. and I love it si no se ve. No se ve. Yeah, it looks great que no se ve la cámara. yeah I finished so that was everything I hope it was useful for you and if you like Instagram remember to follow me as uh, at is Lucia Ferrero then remember I have Snapchat which is Lucia FC4 I also have Twitter which is Lucia FC4 and I also have Facebook and uh, Facebook Tumblr LuciaFerrero.tumblr.com and yeah, that was everything. If you like photography, let me know because I think I'm gonna do a video just explaining how I take my photos, all that I use to take that photos. Bye and bye you guys. Know. Good thing. See? See? Yeah. Remember, if you like this video, give a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you next Friday. Woo! I feel so stupid doing this alone. So stupid, but yeah, YouTuber life.